Hey, Lisa Papp here. I'm the author and illustrator of Madeline Finn and the Library Dog. We're going to share a little art today. This is a story about a young girl, um, a struggling reader who just can't find her voice, but everything changes when she meets a beautiful therapy dog, a library dog named Bonnie. Madeline Finn and the Shelter Dog. Uh, in this story, Madeline wants a dog all her own, but when she realizes that shelter animals live a different life, she wants to make a difference. And this book is inspired by my friend Trudy in Ohio who brings her students to read to the shelter dogs. So Madeline Finn finds a clever way to make sure all the dogs know they're loved. And here is a sneak peek at the next one, Madeline Finn and the Therapy Dog, which comes out this fall. Okay. So let's draw today a little Bonnie, get a pencil and paper or a pen. And we're just going to start simple with a little oval, right like that. Kind of fill that in. That's going to be the nose. Now we're going to do two eyes, just up and out from the nose, here and here. And we'll give Bonnie little sweet brows. And Bonnie's a really sweet therapy dog, so she's always got a smile, like so. Okay. We'll give her a little chin, a little happy cheek, and she's a great Pyrenees, so she's real fluffy. So let's give her nice, puffy cheeks. This side, that side. She's got sweet, fluffy ears. Like so, nice little fluff on top, and she wears a bandana. We'll just do that with two little ties, and there's a little Bonnie. So let's put on here a little star. Star's the little puppy from the second book. Same beginning, a small little nose, and just out from there, sweet little puppy eyes. She's very curious, inquisitive, little star is. Give him a little sweet little mouth, just a little, it's just like a little you. A little cheek to go with it. And Star is puffy, like his mother. But he's still got little puppy, small little puppy ears on each side. Just kind of go around and you see it's almost like a triangle shape. And a little puppy fuzz on his head. There you go. You can draw a little star in by him. All right, quick little way to draw a puppy yeah. and a dog. How about a Madeline Finn? Okay, let's see. We'll do sort of a three-quarter. We'll just start like so, an eye area, a little cheek. And I usually draw a line so I can see where her eyes go. So, a little nose. And Madeline has hair. Madeline Finn has hair like mine, kind of out of control. So, I'm just going to get a little something like that. Hair set. A little crazy loose pieces there. Okay, and she's always got some loose ones there. So there's a little Madeline. Uh, if I was going to do a side view of Madeline, again, I just start simple. It's almost like an oval, sort of, and I just, off of that, I'll just take a little nose and put a little mouth in. This pencil actually needs a little sharpening, but. Okay, again, she likes to wear that barrette in her hair. Okay, there's her hair coming down. Always those loose pieces. All right. There's a little thing in Madeline Finn. 
And that's how it all starts. Um, here's sketches from the next book. You wonder how many sketches go into a picture book? A lot. Just a few, give you a little sneak peek what's inside the next book. So there you go. It all starts. It all starts with little ones. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. Bye.